Hello people! Welcome back to Sonic Heroes Let's Play. We play Team Chaotix. You laugh a lot. <laughs> or you die. Sorry, for some reason I felt like doing that. Anyway, so guys, welcome back to the Sonic Heroes Let's Play. And uh, remember how before I said that Team Chaotix was going to be post-commentary? I kind of lied. Now, uh, what happened was I was doing a test... Uh, actual, it wasn't a test recording. It was a recording... Uh, so I could edit together the actual parts, and then I was going to talk over them. But when I was recording, I found out Team Codex is rather short. Uh, it's not as complicated as I once thought it was. So I figured, fuck it, let's do Let's Play. And also, me being extremely annoyed by this team's uh, mechanics, uh, or rather this team's uh, stage objectives, uh, is funnier for the Let's Play. Instead of me just going, Oh, so I was talking about these books. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of become a, um, it's become a tradition for me to talk about classic literature in Sonic Heroes for absolutely no reason, but only when it hits Frog Forest, uh, because that's when it usually starts, because I have nothing else to fucking talk about, because I've gone through this game uh, for the fourth time. So what is Team Chaotix? Now, for those of you that don't know the Chaotix team, they're actually not new characters. They are from Knuckles Chaotix, which was for the ill-fated Sega 32X, uh, which... Sadly, he had even less time than the Sega CD. That that says something. Uh, everyone knows Sega CD. Not a lot of people know about the 32X. Uh, it was a 32-bit system. Again, it was an add-on for the Sega Genesis to extend its lifetime. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't work. And I think it only had a handful of games. A literal handful. You could hold the whole library in your hands, I think. That's what I like about uh, talking about some stuff where... Um, where you say it like some like when whenever you uh, hear a word that's misrepresented like or hype hy hyperbolic is that the is that the adjective word hyperbolic I don't think it is but I'm just gonna go with it uh, the hyperbolic uh, use of a specific word and uh, let's see I think I missed no I should I should be fine all right. Um, I hate when that happens with the hyperbolic use of a word, and then you finally get the chance to use the word as literal as possible. I love it when that happens. Because it was a literal handful of games. You could hold it in your hand. The entire library. Which was funny and ill-fated. But anyway, um, so the Knuckles Chaotix game, I've never played it, but I heard it was a little bizarre, um, but at least worth a shot. Um, so in Knuckles Chaotix, the Team Chaotix, uh, they are, um, they are detectives, so they run a detective agency, and, uh, for Sonic, for Team Sonic, we're looking for Eggman to stop Eggman, Eggman from taking over the world! Um, Shadow, I'm looking for my past, because no one will fucking answer my questions. What is wrong with everyone? <laughs> I'll never get over that. What, if, if... If at least Rouge went like, okay, here's what happened, then the entirety of Shadow the Hedgehog wouldn't happen, and then we wouldn't have to go through that mess. Um, it's been a while since I played Shadow the Hedgehog, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dread it. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna do it for the Let's Play channel, uh, because goddamn, that game gets fun, and by fun I mean fucking <laughs> not fun at all. Stop, stop it. Um, get up the. Anyway, so they run a detective agency. Uh, again, Team Sonic looking for Eggman, Shadow looking for answers, because no one will fucking answer them. Uh, answer his answers? No, uh, <laughs> uh... No one will answer his questions, rather. Uh, that's the right word for it. And, uh... Blah, blah, blah. And something. Oh yeah, and Team Rose, they're looking for Chocola the Chow and fucking Froggy for the fifth time. Or for more than the fifth time. That it's been a while. It's been a while. That's all I know. I'm sorry. Is there any crabs around here? Anyway, so um, after all that, Team Sonic is looking for Eggman. Team Sh Team Dark is looking for answers for Shadow, or at least Shadow is. I don't know what the fuck those other two are doing. Um, and uh, Team Rose is looking for Chocola the Chow and Froggy the fucking Frog. Um, so what is Team Cha Team Chaotix? Their literal plot is that they're trying to earn a paycheck. <laughs> and I love that. I absolutely love when, uh, this kind of, this kind of character trait happens in this, uh, 
in this uh, family-friendly game. Don't fall. Please don't. Please don't. He fell. Did, what the fuck are you... Alright. Whatever. It just went through the ground. Alright. Half of that isn't rendered. Um, I'm gonna get an E rank. I don't care. Um, so yeah, they're trying to earn a paycheck because they run a de detective agency and they have to pay rent. So, as you saw in the intro cutscene before, they got a little voice in the radio saying, you gotta do this shit and I'll pay you at the end. And they're like, sweet. And then they go. That's that's this plot. I love the Team Chaotix. Um, as I said before, I'm not sure... I think I said this in Team Dark, where I said that uh, half the teams are actual teams and the other two teams are just there. Like, they're, they were the closest people that they could get. So, uh, so their dialogue wasn't really that good. But Team Sonic and Team Chaotix's uh, dialogue is... Uh, pretty good because they're actual teams and they you know make up for each other or I don't know what the right word for that is but anyway what the fuck I didn't even see that all right doesn't matter anyway my batteries are trying to fall out of this fucking thing uh, <laughs> anyway so uh, so team Sonic had uh, a normal type of play style team dark was hard and, uh, and Team Rose was the easy mode with sporting a fucking tutorial level. Um, so what is Team Chaotix? How do they fit into this? Now, this is where things get a li little interesting. Uh, since they were since they're a detective agency, I guess they decided to have Team Chaotix uh, look for things in the stages. And uh, for those of you that played Shadow the Hedgehog, that sounds familiar. Uh, but it's nowhere near that, near that annoying. At least I don't think it is. I haven't played this in a while. Um, that's a complete lie. I just played this the other day. <laughs> I don't even trust my memory anymore. It's just like, I haven't played this in like fucking three minutes. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyway. So yeah, Team Chaotix's deal is that you're going to be finding stuff throughout the levels. And they can range from easy, as in just go to the end of the stage and... Uh, pile drive whatever you're looking for and uh or it can be the interesting ones such as uh i want to say grandma Tr no i want to say power plant and mystic mansion those are the fun ones well power grandmetropolis is kind of annoying because you have to beat all the enemies but anyway um yeah, I did a couple test playthroughs for this because I knew this was not going to end well if I if I went headfirst into it. Just like, yep, I'm going to go great. It's going to be great, guys. All right. It's actually quite funny because, uh, um, eh, let's not talk about that. Let's keep that a secret. Um, well, it's not really a secret. It's more of behind the scenes uh, kind of editing where something happened and it was like, this ain't working. Uh... So, man, I am fucking hungry. I want some stuff. <laughs> I do. All I had was a soda, and uh, I got up early for some reason. I, I couldn't I couldn't sleep, even though I stayed up late playing Smash. <laughs> uh, today is the day that Smash Brothers 3DS came out, and I am fucking happy about it. I'm going to have a tournament today between me and my friends, and I'm going to beat the shit out of all of them. I can't wait until I die, and they're going to reference this video. <laughs> Joke's on them. No one watches my video. That got sadder and sadder. Man, <laughs> that was depressing. But yeah, I have my 3DS on standby to the right. It's on a coffee table right now, and I, I can't wait to play it. Ow, shit, I saw that coming, and I didn't do anything about it. It's like being a bystander when a murder is happening in an alley. It's always an alley. Whenever you see an alley, always assume there's gonna there's a murder happening. <laughs> so just turn the corner, and make sure no one's there. That's my attitude. Tom, Chimey should take the lead. Also, I kind of freaked out for a second because whenever you see a flower like that, because uh, whenever you see a flower like that at a dead end in this in this uh, team playthrough, it it freaks you out because. Okay, let's let's talk about this a little bit more. You remember for everyone, for everyone that didn't play Sonic Heroes but understand Shadow the Hedgehog, in Shadow the Hedgehog there were uh, there your save points or your checkpoints acted as teleportation pads. So if you miss something, then you could go back and check it. The flowers in this game, I just 
pile, pile drive that thing. Or not pile drive, I fisted it. I couldn't get it out. Um, neither could the fist. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, go back. Alright. So in Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, your save points acted as teleportation pads, so if you miss something, you can go back and find it, because that was mostly Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, most of the time, uh, some of the time you could just complete the stage, but you got the shortest path. Um, but anyway, so, it's the same thing with the flowers in this game. Uh, the only problem is that there's only two flowers. One at the beginning, and one at the end. If you miss something, have fun going through the whole stage again to find that one little thing. And that's fun. Is he, like, moving his brow? He doesn't have eyebrows. I just noticed that. Eggman has never had eyebrows. He's just had eye... You know, dents. Or flaps. I'm not sure how to say that. Eye flaps. Very structured. Very manly. Poignant. Just poignant. I don't know. Ponyo. Wasn't enough too much. Eh, I liked it. I have to <laughs> I have to organize my thoughts before I say anything. Uh That really is me. I have to organize everything before I say a single thing. That's why I don't talk most of the time. Did I get hit twi Ch Charmy? You're doing the same shit that Omega did. Don't do that. I had a fun time. Alright. So Okay, I'm talking about this. Let's not take the chance. So I'm, I'm just thinking about a let's play that's gonna come out soon, uh, or maybe by, again, by the time this recording may already be out. Uh, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna kill myself. I don't kill myself. Jeez, I don't wanna do that either. I don't wanna put myself in a bad position where I'm just like, oh, I said this one thing and I didn't mean it. Actually, the let's play that I'm talking about immediately, all of it just corrupted. I don't know what to do. But that let's play once it comes out, or if it already is out, then he learns. <laughs> oh, you'll learn just like he did. <laughs> oh, we beat Eggman, whatever. Alright. So again, uh, in Team Chaotix's story, they are following a voice in the radio telling them to do stuff, and at the end of it, they're gonna get a paycheck so they can pay rent, and that's what I like. It's just like every other team is trying to do something important, something good, and they're just like, we're here to pay rent. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. 